Hello, everyone, and thank you again so much for joining me on this journey through the book of Isaiah. As we're taking this road trip through various chapters and verses in this book, it is a lot of reading, and I do hope that you're able to keep up, but no matter if you need to take a few extra rest stops along the way, that's fine because it is a lot of reading. There's a lot going on in these chapters. And if you're following me on Facebook, um, I have put some summaries in there as well. I've read through the chapters and put a little synopsis in there. So as we look at this week, what we were reading is chapter nine, chapter 12, verse six was our assignment. Chapter 35 was one of our assigned readings, but we did take a little uh, side road into chapter 26 before we got to chapter 35 and we looked, we discovered God's perfect peace. So chapter nine looks at, you know, the promised Messiah. Um, and so it says in that verse that he, meaning Jesus, the prophecy of Jesus coming will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So we see that Christ came into the world to be our Prince of Peace. And um, there's something that far surpasses our earthly father. And he also came to be our Wonderful Counselor through the Holy Spirit. And he came to reveal himself as our Mighty God. He came to restore our relationship with himself, not only himself, but our eternal father. And then finally, he came to make us one with himself. So as you go back and review that chapter, look at all the, the promises that God made about the coming Messiah. And I'm going to say... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, chapter 12, verse 6. I'm going to save that one for last uh, to review. But then we look at chapter 26. And one of the things I liked about reading that, let me see if I can find my, my notes on that. Um, let's see. It says that he was God, our perfect peace. God, our perfect peace. So forgive me as I flip through here to find that. Um, okay, here it is. Um, so God's perfect peace. So perfect peace, the, uh, the Hebrew word, word for peace, some of you may know it, is shalom. So perfect peace is shalom, shalom. So we have uh, knowing that God will keep us in perfect peace with him. And that is quite a promise. And so how do we stay in perfect peace with God is through his word because he wants a relationship with us. And so we, when we're studying his word, the Holy Spirit is speaking to us and he is communicating with us through his word. And then chapter 35, uh, the eyes of the blind and weak hands. And so it's, God promises to open the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. And so when God's salvation comes, miraculous power comes with it. It is the miracle for the blind to see and for the deaf to hear, the lame to run and for the mute to speak. But when he comes and saves us, he does it with miraculous power. So as you're reading through that chapter, look at those verses that we have there and see um, you know, God's promise to open the eyes of the blind to strengthen us um, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, so now let me find my notes on um, ch chapter 12, verse 6. Okay, and so in the message Bible, that verse reads, uh, it says, I'm going to read, um, Starting in verse five, it says, sing praise songs to God. 
He's done it all. Let the whole earth know what he's done. Raise the Ruth. Sing your hearts out, O Zion. The greatest lives among you, the holy of Israel. So when we're praising and worshiping the Lord, what, you know, just imagine this, singing our hearts out to the Lord and worship and praise to him so loud that we raise the roof of. And uh, that's one of the things I like about Praise Night at Church is just seeing all the people singing and hands raised in worshiping the Lord. And so the common, the new King James Version says, sing to the Lord, he has done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, O inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in your midst. So he is with us. So it says in the commentary that first the Lord was the song of the worshiper. Now he sings this song of the Lord to whoever listens. If the Lord has become your song, then sing it. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Shout, cry out to the Lord with goodness and praise. So friends, I hope you're, as I said, I hope you're following along as we're reading through the book of Isaiah on this journey. And there's so many nuggets, I can't go through them all. But as I said, I hope you're able to keep up and read through and follow, follow along with us. And so as we um, get ready to discover more on our road trip through the book of Isaiah, I hope you'll continue to follow me. So you have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And um, I'd love to hear your comments uh, either in this video and or on our Facebook page. So take care until next time. Goodbye.